rainforests aren't the only part of our planet in trouble. It turns out that much of the farmland we depend on for our food is also in big trouble. Mm. The experts say the nutrient quality from conventional agriculture is on the decline. So some nutritionists now recommend that we turn to one of our planet's most abundant resources, the ocean. Nine servings of fruits and vegetables per day. That's what nutrition experts are recommending now for a healthy diet. Of course, that's a lot easier said than done, even if you do eat all those fruits and veggies. Most people are very nutrient deficient. One of the reasons for that is that the soils that our food is grown in really doesn't have the nutrients anymore that it used to. Krista says a sea vegetable salad like the one she's making here is an easy way to bring these nutrients into our diet. Sea vegetation, we've found, is probably the most nutrient-dense natural food that still grows on the planet. When people are eating exclusively land vegetables, especially ones that are commercially grown, there's actually very little nutrition in those vegetables. And one of the things that we find is missing often are minerals. Most people get vitamin supplements out there. They're, they're really easy. Mineral supplements are a lot more difficult. And what most people don't realize is that without the minerals, the vitamins actually cannot be used by the body properly. So these are foundation nutrients. And sea vegetables are the richest source of nutrients in terms of minerals that we know of. Sea vegetation is gathered in pristine ocean areas around the world. Some sea veggies live only a few inches beneath the surface of the ocean, and all of them are very fast growing, providing an abundant source of food. And in the right hands, they make an excellent salad. It tastes good. But for all their benefits, adding sea veggies to our diet in any meaningful amount can be difficult. How much salad or sushi can you have in a day? So several companies are now making sea veggies as a dietary supplement in a capsule or liquid form. Nutritional experts like Mary Mulry say the trace minerals in sea veggies play a critical role in our metabolism. And so they work at very, very minute amounts. I mean, you're correct there. And it's, it's really almost a subtle uh, effect because it's, it's the actual building blocks of our nutrition. The oceans uh, in the trace minerals in sea vegetation actually mimic uh, what is in the human bloodstream. You'll see that trace minerals such as selenium you know, improve the immune system and it's through a complicated set of pathways, but it's very clear from a nutrition standpoint that they're critical to our health and well-being. Although sea vegetation is just emerging as a dietary source in the U.S., it's very different in Asia. Nutritionist Krista Way says the results there are dramatic. If we look at some of the Eastern cultures, particularly Japan, we've seen that over centuries, people have used sea vegetables as part of their normal everyday diet. And in fact, as much as 25% of some of those people's diets is sea vegetables. And what we've seen from that is the level of health and the longevity of those people is, is some of the highest in the world. Both Krista Way and Mary Mulry say Western scientists are beginning to pay close attention to the impact sea veggies have had in places like Japan and other Asian countries. And they both say, don't be surprised if sea veggies aren't soon making a big splash in the world of Nutrisupplements. Okay, now tell me the truth, Judy. Did you really like that seaweed salad? Because I love it. Actually, I did. It was, it was very tasty. It was a little labor-intensive for mm -hmm. me, but it was tasty and nutritious. Yeah, and speaking of nutrition, wait until you see the recipe suggestion Roy has for us coming up next. Roy? As a recipe? <laughs> yes, <laughs> I can't <you>. wait. <laughs>